guys welcome back to my channel i'm so excited i'm about to have the biggest full circle moment of my entire life i woke up this morning to a text from bauer hockey inviting me to go to the bruins game with them tonight i will get way more in detail very soon but this vlog is going to be a very happy hockey weekend vlog apparently because not only now am I doing this tonight, I'm also going to Jake's game tomorrow. So, welcome to a weekend in my life. Heavy hockey edition. I'm getting my TikTok all set up and ready to go. So do a TikTok get ready with me as well because the content needs to be popping. If you can tell, I am a little bit sick. I'm just kind of run down from last weekend was St. Patrick's Day. And in Boston, everybody goes like crazy for St. Patrick's Day. I wasn't really necessarily in the mood to go out. And I feel like my body could tell. So it like made me sick as like a punishment because I didn't want to go. And I just, I had plans, made plans with my friends. And I hate bailing on my friends. So I did go and I ended up getting sick. And I feel like I deserved it. I am about to have the most full circle moment of my entire life. I feel like a lot of people don't know, but I actually started my career in sports media and did eight internships for it the entire time I was in college. And every single one of those internships was either unpaid or two of them were minimum wage. I worked for NBC Sports, Boston 25 Sports, Alabama Sports Program, Boston University Sports. I did so much before I even finished college. I was the team manager for the BU men's ice hockey team. And I was there an hour before practice, an hour after practice, every single weekday, every weekend. I traveled with the team. I even missed Thanksgiving dinner with my family to go to Ireland with them, like after a month of only working for them. Then I switched over to on camera and I became the team reporter and an arena host. It was like the coolest thing I'd ever done up until that point. I don't even think I've mentioned yet that growing up my brother played hockey and he was the captain of the Harvard hockey team and my dad had been a hockey player and he was the goalie of Boston College's team. Yes, I went on to play hockey for eight years of my life too. <laughs> I actually was on an all girls team in a boys league. So we played boys roles and checking was allowed. And my dad was the coach. So you best believe I was tossing bodies out there as an 11 year old. <laughs> After some time of doing traditional sports reporting, I realized that I'm more of an entertainment type of girly than analytics of how long people's shifts were. For a while, I questioned if I made the right move to move away from the sports world because I knew I was good at it. I just felt like my heart wasn't 100% in it. And to make it as a female in the sports industry, you have to be willing to give 200% for everybody else's 100%. Boyfriend and a ton of my friends still play hockey. So thankfully, I'm still going to be around the sport for probably the rest of my life. And so this morning, I woke up to Bauer inviting me to the Bruins game with them. Bauer hockey. I know I've been to like so many hockey games before and so many other cool events, but there's just something so meaningful to me knowing that I'm getting invited to my favorite sport by a company that I wanted to work for a few years ago. And especially after leaving the hockey world, I was like, all my opportunities with the world are going to be gone. But I was chasing another passion of mine at the same time. So if you take away anything from this video, please let it be. If there's something out there that you want to do that you're passionate about, that you want to try, and it seems like it's a big risk and you might lose things that you have right now, you need to take the jump because it's going to create opportunities that you didn't even know existed or were possible right now. And to every single one of you who has followed me, supported me, liked one of my videos, even sent one of my videos in your mean group chat to talk crap about me, you helped me get here. So thank you guys so much. I'm gonna cry. I love you all tremendously. Chase your dreams and go Bruins. Hi. Hey. Do you know what I'm doing tonight? No. I'm going to a hockey game that's not yours. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you jealous? What game? The Bruins? Oh, that'll be fun. Where are they playing? The Canadians? Rivalry night, hey? Mm -hmm. Or the Habs? The Habs. That's sick. That'll be really fun.
Do you want to know who I'm dying with? Are you going with Bowers? Really? Bower? Yeah, that. That's sick. That's so sick. This is company that you wear their stuff every day. I do wear their stuff every day. They make great stuff. And they invited me. <laughs> That's so sick. Yeah. Pretty big deal. <laughs> and you want, I'll sign you an autograph. Alright. <laughs> Let me know when and where. <laughs> Get dressed with me to go to a hockey game with Bauer. I really think I want to wear these cargo pants I got from Garage this year with sneakers. So I'm in like a comfy, chill mood. So I have this top from Aloe. I'm pretty sure it's like a workout top, but we just gotta make it work. It's fine. And then this jacket's from Princess Polly. Like this could be really cute with a hat. Okay, I'm liking what we have so far. And I added these shoes that my boyfriend got me. They're so cute. I don't know what the names of them are, but I feel like this could work. And I'm gonna add a hat because sports, okay? Go Bruins! Woo! Need some perfume. Candy by Ariana Grande's been my shit lately. Okay, you guys, here is the final fit. This top's from Aloe. Jacket is White Fox Boutique. Or Princess Polly, sorry. Princess Polly Garage and Nikes. We're ready to go. We got Annie! Hi. Bestie acquired. Date acquired. My date acquired. And Ricky from Bauer just brought us a PR package on the go. Yeah, I don't need help. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this, baby. I thought I was just going to do more damage. Whoa. This is a big boy. That's cute. First, we got a cute little scuba. A Lulu scuba. Does it say Bauer on it? Yeah. That's so cute. So cute. We love a car unboxing. Whoa! Oh my god! My nails are atrocious. Yeah, they're making me feel better about mine. Cute hat number one! Cute hat number two! Cute hat number three! This is so nice! So nice. And then a cute hoodie. Oh my god, two cute hoodies. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I have a surprise. This is yours. Really? Yeah. That's so nice. It's yours. <laughs> and I said, we like larges and extra larges. Can pick this one out for Yeah. Me? And then you can pick either, so either nice. of these hats you can have. That's so nice. Thanks. I didn't know one was for me. Surprise and a hat. <laughs> wow. Hey. This is so exciting. Okay, this one. I kinda like that one. Okay, take this one. This is hockey. This made my day. Surprise! Go Bruin! Turn right on Atlantic Avenue. Backed in. I did back in like a baddie. A back in baddie. Mm -hmm. We're here. We're ready to go. <laughs> go beats. Play. Player of the night, it's backwards. <laughs> Player of the night, <laughs> honey. I 
MV Ping. <laughs> MV Ping. <laughs> MV Pretzel. <laughs> It's tournament day. LFG. <laughs> you. You poor thing. OSU is about to crush Harvard's ass. Yeah. Screw Harvard. Let's get ready for a hockey game. Again. Yes, I know. The second one in 16 hours. It's only 8 a.m. and I don't think I'm ever going to get over last night. But it's time to get ready for another hockey game. <laughs> I only slept for like five hours so I definitely shouldn't have this much energy but I think I'm just like riding on the high from last night and also so excited to see Jake. LFG OSU. <laughs> the funniest part is OSU is playing Harvard and our brother used to play for Harvard so we used to be diehard Harvard hockey fans but now we oh have the tables have turned. We used to go to the grave for Harvard hockey. Yeah now, and now they're into the graveyard. <laughs> If you know how basketball works, but not hockey, it's basically March Madness for hockey right now. It's the playoff, so it's do or die. But they're not going to lose because they're going to win, and then they're going to win again Sunday, and then they're going to go to the Frozen Four. Manifesting. Not have a lot of time, so we're going in with bronzer for eyeshadow because desperate times call for desperate measures. Bruins game last night, that was like my first time going out sober in a really long time, and I just had a Diet Coke and a water. And to wake up from that, not hungover, is amazing. It is interesting that the college hockey and NHL timelines are so different. Like, my friend Julia texted me and was like, what is going on in hockey right now? And I was like, you're going to need to be more specific. So funny being at the game sober last night, though, because everybody at the Boston games drinks. And the men behind us were, like, probably 50 to 60 years old, talking about hitting the bars after the Oh, I have no idea what I'm going to wear, but we have to drive three hours to Connecticut, so I'm probably going to go a little cozy, a little comfy. And what do we do when we see our boyfriends? The inner eye glitter bomb, because they love it. No one knows why. My entire family are Jake super fans, so everyone's coming. Everyone. And now my dad's going to start yelling at me to hurry up, because he wants to get there early. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll see you guys when I pick out my outfit. It dresses me for a hockey game again. You have these ASOS leather trousers. I feel like they're the obvious choice because I just want to be comfy today. This is kind of a look. Wait, why do I like this? This is easily my favorite like OSU thing I own. I got it from a vintage thrift store online. I think it's called Springy Jeans is their Instagram. So I'd like to try to make this work. I've really been in my I don't dress for men era lately. And I think it's really upping my personal style. Like, I love this. I have two different ideas for shoes here. One's obviously the more obvious choice, but one is like, let's take a risk. We're going to try both. Hold on, I forgot these right now. I feel like this could work, but it's just not the vibe for Connecticut. So we're gonna swap. Okay, the Jordans are on. These are my two bag options. I feel like if I was doing black shoes, I would do the red bag, but since I'm doing these shoes that have a little red toe in them, I'm gonna go black. But if you guys disagree, comment, cause I have some time before I leave. See you at the game. And we're on the way. We're off. We're off. Three hours to go. Dad's driving. We're gonna zoom there. We're coming. Bridgeport, Connecticut. We'll see you there. Quick pit stop. We're hitting Starbs. I need a tea. I'm having a cough attack. I know. I kind of want a tea too. Drive thru's closed. That's it. Did you say my name? <laughs> I got a hot green tea. I got an iced passion tea on sweet because I already had coffee and I don't want to be too hyped for the game. <laughs> Just totally a little hype. <laughs> We're here. So we have a little update. Um, two periods have gone by and OSU is playing. Winning seven nights. Want to know the number? Uh, I'll, well, I'll show you. Visit <laughs> It's a goose egg. 
we got a touchdown. There's still another period. A touchdown. You just said touchdown. Yeah, we got a touchdown. Six, six is a touchdown plus the extra point, seven. We're on the road again. I can't want to be on the road again. <laughs> Two hours to go. This is brutality. <laughs> I just fell asleep for five minutes. Right. Now we get to do it all again in 48 hours. Oh, Massachusetts. Oh, welcomes us. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Game day again. We're ready to go. I still don't have a voice. But I think it's gonna come back as the day goes. I literally just woke up, as you could tell. I just finished making my bed. And it's usually the worst in the morning and then it comes back a little, so we're gonna be good. We did drive three hours to Connecticut again, which I'm not super excited about, but it's fine. The game is in approximately six hours from right now. So we have like two to get ready, a little less than two to get ready. So we have to get there an hour before. So it's grind time. These are my eye patches I wear all the time, every single video, every time I'm getting ready. Um, they are the Peter Thomas Roth cucumber eye patches. They're my favorite. And my new hoodie from Bauer. It's so cozy. There's nothing like good new hoodie. Like, I'm gonna wear this the next three days because that's just what you do when you get a new hoodie as a girl. Let's get ready. <laughs> right now, I cannot decide if I should put my clip-in extensions in my hair or not. Um, but I just feel like it's not really giving what I want it to get. Living Proof sent me some dry shampoo, which I definitely need right now. So maybe this will help me decide. It actually came at the perfect time because I was completely out of dry shampoo. My sister is staying here this weekend and she was like, do you have dry shampoo? And I was like, no, I'm actually out. And then she was like, no, I know you have some because I saw your Instagram story. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot. I got this carrying case for my extensions on Amazon. If you just search like, Hair extensions, I'll add it to my Amazon storefront, but if you just search them, they come right up like um, clip it extensions, travel kit, and it's just like this bar and it just opens up. And it's really good if you're somebody that travels a lot, like, or you're like a competitive dancer, performer, or anything. I think it's like the best invention ever. And it puts them in this case that like makes them last way longer because I've had other extensions and like none of them have lasted as long as these ones. And I think it's just because of how I've been taking care of them. And honestly, the travel bag. The only problem with these is I've been trying to grow out my hair. As you can probably tell if you're wondering why my roots are so bad. Um, and I feel like these... When we ordered these, it was when I was like platinum, platinum. And I feel like the tones just don't really match my hair anymore. Maybe if I like purple shampooed, it still would. I'm going to try it and we'll see. I really want them to work. But I've just been going like a more natural color route. And these are very platinum and I just don't think. I don't think they're going to. My tip with anybody using clip-in extensions is you want to get your hair in like a straight, straight line and then just give where you're going to clip them on a little back comb and it makes it latch on so much better. Like this, you want to put it like about three inches up and just lightly give it a little tease so that the clips have something to grab onto and they won't be sliding around, especially if you have like really sleek. Like I think people who have naturally straight hair struggle with that a bit. And they're always like, how do you get yours to stay in? That is the secret sauce. And we learned that in cheerleading. I don't think it's just like about time for me. Oh, it doesn't actually look that bad. I think I'm just gonna need to put in another row, but I think it looks fine. Okay, I'm gonna add a row. Part of me thinks I was meant to be somebody in like a cosmetology field, like whether it's 
I don't think so much hair dyeing, but maybe like hair styling or a makeup artist. I think I would love to do that. And the part of me is like, should I just try it? Should we just see? <laughs> also a big tip if you're using a big pack of extensions is label which ones you're using. So like this is RF, which means like my right front. That's how I remembered where this one goes because I had my hairdresser cut them when I got them so that it wasn't just like a straight line. I had her angle them the way that like my actual hair is angled so that when I put them in, they look a lot more natural. At the last game last weekend, or <laughs> last weekend, at their last game, there were actually multiple people that came up to me and were like, I love your TikToks and it made me so happy. That's why I make them. That's why I make them is for your enjoyment. And it takes like my whole life of recording and editing. So that makes me so happy. I think these actually blended really nice. Yeah, the full. Okay, we're gonna make them stay. I'm just gonna blend the curl a little bit, but that will do. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but the boys are just one win away from Tampa. I'll give you guys a little hockey crash course. And you best believe if they make it, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be tanning at 1 p.m. and at a hockey rink at 7 p.m. Quarter finals, it's quarter finals. So to explain, college hockey's in playoffs right now, not the NHL. So don't go to an NHL game saying they're in playoffs, just college hockey. Only 16 teams in the entire country make it into the tournament and our favorite team, Ohio State made it. Take those 16 teams and split them into four groups in four different locations in the country. All the games in the tournament are single game elimination. So if you lose, you're dead, season's over, career could be over, it's tragic. But if you win, you move on. 16 teams in the first round, eight teams in the second round, and then if you win, or you're going to the Frozen Four. As of right now, two of the quarterfinal games have already happened and Boston University and University of Minnesota are already going to the Frozen Four. And now we're waiting to find out between BU and Quinnipiac who goes and Michigan and Penn State. So far in the tournament, the Big Ten teams have just been blowing the other teams out of the water. The first round of games, the scores were like eight to nothing, eight to one, nine to one, 10 to one. That doesn't happen in hockey ever so that was crazy technically not march madness but it's madness in march okay happy game day <laughs> it do be so everyone cheer pray take a shot i don't know go osu for the frozen four please let's get dressed for another hockey game wow i have an idea for this shirt but it's gonna be like a work with me so i have this blazer that I think could be really cute. I think this is from like Miss Pap, I wanna say. I'm gonna try this with leather pants. So this was kind of a vision. I don't know how I feel. I'm gonna try jeans. Ooh, this is cute. This is the other option. We do leggings and high socks and we can do these Kith Converse or these chunky white shoes. Chunkies. A red bag because last time I didn't wear it and everybody told me to, so this is the fit. Bye! We are on the road, y'all. We're back on the road again. On the road again. Girl, I like you. Hey. Alright, y'all, we are pit stopping at Combi. Starbucks, but the game's at four, so we are, we've already had our our fix in. Hey y'all, almost there. Hey y'all, Annie was so nice and drove the whole way there. Yeah, we'll have the turntables have, but I'm gonna drive home. So she's gonna get silly. I'm gonna get a little silly. I'm gonna get a little margarita. You deserve it. You deserve it. Except guys, I left my. A license in Southie, so I literally brought my passport. Yeah, the passport's coming to Bridgeport. <laughs> to the hockey game, she's just gonna whip out her passport. Everyone's gonna be like, why? You gotta do what you gotta do. Yesterday, at the last game, I had to buy her high noon because she didn't have her license. I'm like, this is the first, probably the first time like I've had to get you a drink because you yeah. didn't have your ID. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, to update you all on what's going on, 
this is the last game before the Frozen Four. So it's this, the quarterfinals of the national championship for hockey. So if Ohio State beats Quinnipiac, they go to the Frozen Four and we're going to Tampa in two weeks. We're going. She's coming with me, whether yeah. she wants to or not. So it's a really big game. We really want to go to Tampa. And sometimes the Frozen Four is in like awful locations. Like sometimes it's in like really cold, snowy cities. So to get a little spring break trip would be a little summer dew. Just a summer dew. <laughs> the cherry on top. So we're really rooting for them. I really think they're gonna win. Like I, I, I feel it. I feel good. I feel like they're fired up. Also, Annie's Jake's good luck charm, not me. To the point where Jake's family said, make sure Annie comes on Sunday. And I was like, don't worry guys, I'm gonna come too. <laughs> Every time she comes, he scores. And last game he got four assists. So like that's equal to a goal. So I feel, AKA I feel really good. And her, they win, they win 100% of the time that she's come. So fingers crossed. They're gonna do it. Welcome to the quarterfinals. Also, like the vlog content that we would get out of Tampa, like everyone's an OSU fan today. Go Bucks! We're here! Let's fucking go! So There's not a lot of content from the game because the game did not go well. Unfortunately, we lost two to one. Nope, we didn't. We lost four to one now. And we were losing two to one most of the game, so I wasn't really filming. I was just stressed. But that means the season's over and Jake's career with OSU is over. We're so sad. I was crying, if you can't tell. But to everybody who supported, thank you so much. It means the world to me, to him, to everyone. Thank you so much for all the comments, everything. I saw a ton of Michigan people commenting on my TikToks this weekend. And we're like, I'll root for OSU just because of you. That's insane. And I recognize how hard that must be. But thank you guys so much. Closes one book, but... A new one's gonna be opening, so make sure you guys subscribe to see what's next. Bye!